in the Midwest and a pleasant summer day as we are set for football at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, Missouri. A few short moments ago, these two teams made their way out of the Arrowhead Stadium tunnels, and the noise level in this place was just about off the charts. They're set for football as the Chiefs get set to do battle with the Cleveland Browns. And now here comes Kansas City. Now the first carry for Le'Veon Bell. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. Le'Veon Bell. And that's exactly what you want on a first down run. Pick up five yards, bring up second and five. The defensive line, though, they've got to figure out a way to out leverage the guys up front because the offensive line is winning at the point of attack. Ball on the 30. They'll come up with a second and five. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. B.J. Goodson with a pick. And they will finally put it into the return, but not until he takes it back all the way inside the 10-yard line. They'll take over first down and goal to go at the 8-yard line. Following the interception, Mayfield. His pass caught at the 4. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. That'll bring up second and goal after the gain of five. Brings up second and goal at the four-yard line. They'll run for the first time with Kareem Hunt. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can. But this is third and goal. And that's going to be caught from Brown's touchdown. Mayfield fighting Odell Beckham with a touchdown pass. And the Browns have taken the early lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it was a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Cody now after the score, it's Parkey on to kick it away. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. They had the interception last time. It led to the opening touchdown. So now 7-0 the score as they start first and 10. They'll start the drive with a carry by Bell. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Taken down. Right no gain on the play there. Second down. No gain on the play. All runners count on their eyes to find the gaps and creases to find open space. There was absolutely none on that one. Totally swallowed up on that play. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Mahomes going to throw. A screen to Bell. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one 
Adam covers 24 yards. It's a first down. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. And that is incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. From the gun, it's Mahomes. A quick slant to Hill. Showed the nice footwork and then hit and dropped shy of the 45. Five yards, now it's third and five. In today's football, where receivers break tackles, make people miss, <laughs> get upfield for the extra yardage, when you see a play like that where it's caught and he's dropped on the spot, that's a big-time play by the defense. Looking for his running back, and he's got it. Certainly not what they wanted there. No gain, and it's fourth down. And they couldn't get anything going there out of the right side in the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the Big passing emphasis. game? Huge emphasis for this game, but obviously the defense had other plans and really made a nice play. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And they'll play keep away from the returner as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. Second drive coming up here for Cleveland as they return to the field on offense. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. And they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did some of that. Now a throw right side taken in here to start this drive. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. 21 yards. A good pick up there, 21 yards. First down. Well, it's almost as if they didn't leave the field after their first drive. They picked right up where they left off. Another good throw there. And this offense humming here in the early going. Mayfield on first down. He'll get this one underneath to Hunt. Three yards the game there, second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots downfield. Mayfield tosses one complete to Landry. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. That time they hit him out of the slot on the drag. And that route takes some fortitude from the guy running it because he knows he's going through the briar patch, as I like to call it, right? He's trying to work his way through all that traffic and people wanting to put a little contact on him. Really well done. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Brown seven, Chiefs nothing. They had the catch on second down, but it didn't help at all. And now they're looking at third down here. Mayfield with it once more. And that will be incomplete. And that's a good bounce back after giving up a touchdown on the opening drive. Just one first down permitted and then out. Obviously no loss of confidence with that defense. And now they get to turn it back to their offense. On fourth down, here's Jamie Gillen on to punt. The Chiefs take over. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. They'll start out on the ground with Bell. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. And oh, Johnson dinged up a bit.
still down. Hopefully nothing serious. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. Space to maneuver from the 15 first and 10. 56 to Mark, boy. 56. Check 56. And they'll keep it on the ground with Bell. He fights forward for a couple with a penalty flag down. And the linemen, they're already walking back. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. He's going to use his legs here. He's got room to run past the 20. And he'll finally be taken down at the 29-yard line. That good for 22 and a first down. They went with the nickel look defensively, so they had five defensive backs in there. Didn't help them stop the run. Yeah, I love that, the nickel look. Five sets, five DBs. But what also happens then? You take a big body off the field in order to insert that guy. So you're taking a big off for a little. And oftentimes, you can run the football effectively against that defense. Mahomes completes that one to Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Well, it certainly doesn't matter if it's been through the air like on this play or on the ground. I don't know what's going on with this defense in a sense. They've been AWOL on this drive so far. Three plays, three first downs given up. They've got to find the answers, and they've got to find them quick. Mahomes on target there to Hill. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. A gain of nine. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. On second down, it's Bell. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Two yards, good enough for a first. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Working from the gun, Mahomes. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They'll contain him to just four, second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Out of the shotgun, it's Bell. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Now Mahomes. And the throw there going to be incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. They'll say no to the 46-yard field goal try. They're going to go for it. They'll go. It's Edwards Alaire. And he's going to get the first down here as he's taken down at the 22. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, but the decision to go for it proves to be a good one.
The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. Open man is Hill. He's got it. A gain of six there on first. Hill. A six-yard pickup brings up second and four at the 16-yard line. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. To throw, it's Mahomes. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And yeah, the Chiefs are going to have a first and goal as he'll be taken down at the seven-yard line. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with exactly a minute to go before halftime. Chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Mahomes now to throw. And the Chiefs are looking at first and goal as he's tackled all the way down at the two-yard line. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. From the two now, second and goal. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. Trying to go back to Watkins, but now it's third and goal. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DB, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. They'll try to run with Edwards Alaire. And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Taking it in from two yards out. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. And a little time left on the clock, so on the other side, they're thinking, gosh, we'd like to get that lead right back. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Here I am <laughs> going ahead and tapping out the first half. Wow, There's still that. time. They've got to make a decision about what they want to do on the kickoff, where they want to let their return guy touch it. That ties the game. Extra point splits the uprights, and that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. get this out to the 25 ready to take over again on offense out comes Cleveland and we're under a minute to go here what's been an even first half all tied up yeah still time to make something happen too. couple completions you string them together could get in the field goal range let's see what happens first down Mayfield he'll leave it for Hunt complete and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Heading out as the Cleveland offense now as they get set to take over here. And they'll be looking to avoid what happened last time, which is punting the football. But when you look at how teams play the game, that complimentary football, comes into play how do I take care of my defense how do I take care of my offense well the defense is taking care of them in a lot of ways now it's time for the offense to jump things up and help their defense out give them a little bit of rest yeah time for them to give them a rest took the words right out of my mouth he was looking for Odell Beckham that time and now it's second down
Play fake. Mayfield. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Well, that one was all about the defender making life difficult for the receiver. Very tough for a guy to hold on to the football through all that contact. He ends up forcing the incompletion. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Going to the air again with Mayfield. They'll go screen here to Hunt. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. Here's Jamie Gillen now as he'll punt it away for the second time. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. The Chiefs take over. You rarely call your punter a weapon, but he certainly was there. How about that? Pinning him down at the one-yard line and helping out the defense in a big way. I'm telling you what, if I'm a defensive coordinator, I might be thinking safety right now. Here's Edwards Alaire as they will start on the ground. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt, and if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. So after that safety, now a free kick situation forthcoming as they punt it away from the 20. Room here to run. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 at their own 37. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. So we have reached halftime here in a tight two-point contest. As we'll send you down to Orlando, we check in with Jonathan Coachman for our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Here's the Browns offense now getting set to start off this third quarter. And the safety gave them the lead. Now they look to build on that lead. How about what they put together for their team? Scoring points on the defensive side of the ball. Now they flip it over to the offense and say, take it and go with it. Let's extend this lead, guys. Yeah, one feeds off the other, doesn't it? It really does. When you can see those guys coming together, you can almost see the excitement of the bench. It's almost palpable what they're getting done. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. It's so much of the eight. game today, we're looking for hybrid two. players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Now a throw here on second down, and that's complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Hey. 
We couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day. One score game. First and ten here. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And he'll take this one up close to about the 45. On the carry. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground. But despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. They run it again with Chubb. And no room that time. Getting it to about the 46. And now third down is looming. A pickup of two on first down and just one yard there. Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. The third down now. And those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Gets this to Kareem Hunt, his running back. And he is going to have a Browns first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Cleveland first down, an 11-yard pickup. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. A gain of six there on first. They were in zone defensively, went with a crossing route. It's always interesting to watch that chess match. Yeah, and I think safeties don't mind crossing routes against zone because eventually you're going to run into their territory, and that's when they look their chops in order to get the big hit or play on the ball. Offensively, nice execution to find a hole, make the catch. Over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Landry. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. Down to the 25. Chris Jones on the stop. Hunt, the ball carrier. Tackled at the 25-yard line. A three-yard pickup. Brings up second and seven. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Back to the ground. This time it's Chubb. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. 11 yards there, first down. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. From the third team now, they work on first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Third quarter of a two-point game, a good one so far. Here's second and ten. A run for Nick Chubb. And he's going to get about four down inside the 10 to the 9. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. From the shotgun, it's Mayfield. And he completes it to Hunt. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. He steps out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Now Cody Parkey out to try the field goal. A 27-yard attempt. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. Cody Parkey on for the field goal. A 27-yard attempt. The kick by Parkey is good. And that will push the lead up to 12-7. 
So they get the three, but you wonder now, is that going to be enough? Excellent question, because when I look at the smiles on that side of the field, they're a little tight, aren't they? If they had scored a touchdown there, those would be big half-moon grins right now because <laughs> they'd feel a whole lot better about their position. Uh, and a touchdown in the other direction, all of a sudden, they're down. now following the made field goal to kick this one off taken in at the three and he'll be tackled just shy of the 25 KC's offense ready to take over and the last time they had the football they surrendered two points on the safety they don't want to do that one again no not at all it's almost like a Bases clearing double, isn't it? Give up a couple of runs. Sure. <laughs> just mess, just <laughs> messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Mahomes now on first down. Looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Bell. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. First down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. 11 yards there. First down. This defense has certainly had an outstanding second half, haven't they? I know they just gave up the first down there. And for the offense, they're hoping that that's something they can jumpstart with and maybe start to move the ball a little bit better. But it's been tough sledding for them here the entire second half. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Over the middle complete. That's Bell. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 25 yards there on the catch and run. And this is why trying to cover the angle route is so difficult. Anyone playing the linebacker position, when they see a running back down the backfield widen because he heads towards the flat first, oftentimes you widen too much and overcommit. He cuts up inside, and that's what we saw there. A nice pickup for a first down. Mahomes firing complete. Not much there, only a yard. The screen was executed and completed, but where's the worry on the play? How many times is a quarterback going to get hit? Because offensive linemen have to do an acting job of making sure it looks like they're whiffing on blocks. But you got to slow them down a little bit, because if you don't, that's a lot of big guys coming at your quarterback in a big, fast way before he can get hurt. Now Mahomes going to get this one to Hill. And he'll be a little shy of the 25 here at the 26-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. One of the feature points of the end route is being able to make a nice throw to the middle part of the field. And for a quarterback, that's one of the better throws and better looks that he'll get. But he has to be careful not to wait too long and let his receiver wander into some tough territory. If he's late with the ball, he can get his receiver hit and hit hard. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Demarcus Robinson, the intended target on that one. And that'll bring up second down. Well, it's easy to see when we review this that the ball needs to come out quicker because if you don't throw it right on the break, you bring a crowd of people into the equation. And that's why it got knocked away there. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. And again, it's Mahomes. This is caught, Watkins. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five all the way to the three. 23 yards, the final tally. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. Mahomes to throw once more. 
This is caught by Hill for a Chiefs touchdown. The three-yard touchdown pass, and the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Now it's Mahomes again, and he's got it. So the two-point conversion is good, and they add on to their fourth-quarter lead. So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. will make it into the end zone and he'll just take a seat and the drive will begin at the 25 yard line here comes the Browns offense back onto the field and a methodical drive last time but they couldn't get that knockout blow they had to settle for three but you gotta like what they've been doing along the way right it's almost like the body blows the setup punch as you said they didn't get the knockout blow here but that doesn't mean it can't come later in the game on another possession and the defense on the other side maybe a little gas yeah right? a little tired and if nothing else they just feel relieved getting off field and giving up three they don't exactly feel like they've handled the offense and he's brought down after a very nice game it'll go as a gain of 25 on a play that started back at the 25. from the 50 and this will be incomplete physical play on the football there and it's second down it's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one it's been this defense and here's another example on that last play so after the incompletion on first now second and ten back to throw And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Flying in to blow that play up, Alex Okafor. Now the Browns will use the first of their three timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. This one complete into the hands of Higgins. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. The offense here not budging. They're going to fight for it on fourth and inches. They'll run for it. Chubb. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. They only needed a few inches, and they didn't get much more than that. But by about the width of a shoelace, they convert on fourth down. One crisis averted, but they still need to move hastily. Here's Mayfield. He's going to drop this one down for Chubb. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 13 yards to pick up there. Good for a Cleveland first. Pardon, you got to like what they're doing right there. Little by little, they're getting closer. Another good pickup. First down now, but that clock rolling. 
Mayfield off the play fake. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. The Chiefs take over first and 10. At their the drive will begin with a run by Edwards Hilaire. And he'll get this up past the 5 to the 7-yard line. Now the Browns signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. On second down, a run with Edwards Hilaire. And they'll bring him down right around the 13. The Browns will quickly use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Now a carry for Edwards Hilaire. And just not a ton of room to work with. He'll get it to the 15 for a gain of two. I like a guy who understands the situation. I also like a guy who you look at him and you say, that looks like a guy who knows the coach is going to say, guess what? You drop this one, you'll be carrying around a training facility for an entire week. <laughs> Maybe flashback to high school or college, carrying it around campus, right? Maybe the old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal. That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Kansas City. Let's hit the post-game tailgates and grab some of that barbecue. Yeah, BBQ.